Hello, my dear. Were you waiting for me long? <laughs> no one ever expects me. Makes life interesting. I'm here to go ice skating. Isn't that why you were here? It seemed a shame for you to waste your tickets and skates over something so small as being alone. I wouldn't be here if I didn't want to be. We can certainly go somewhere else, but don't think you could convince me to go on a moonlight walk or something equally atrocious. Fear has nothing to do with it. I'm not walking anywhere that far in these hills. If you wanted to go for a walk, you should have said so earlier. Now, move over. Do you expect me to keep standing? I hardly need an invitation. This is a public space. All are welcome. Didn't you read the sign? I am sorry that it took so long for me to arrive. I thought I could wrap up work earlier, but then there was this thing. I suppose it doesn't really matter, though. The days are getting longer again, so it isn't as though I would have been able to leave when I planned on it. Although, I am pleasantly surprised that they have such a well-lit ice rink open this late. Mm, no, I've never been here before. Well, I've been ice skating before, even if it's been a long time. Guess you may have to study me. <laughs> Not as long as you may think. And I don't think ice skating was a hobby in the Ice Age, at any rate. Not much market for it, I guess. Are you still on that? Just because I own a few profitable businesses doesn't mean that I own one in every type of market there is. That would be poor business. Besides, I like businesses that I partake in. Drinks, foods, games, all of the fun things. Ice skating is fine, I suppose. <laughs> I apologize then, but don't think it'll happen twice. I had no idea I was required to give emotionally charged answers. I'll try not to fall over myself with my enthusiasm next time. Cheers to ice skating. Yes, yes, you're still terribly clever. No. Why don't we get our skates on and get on the ice? No sense wasting those tickets. It's not too hard to walk in them if you're careful. Besides, you're the one that sat over here. I don't know if you've noticed, but I am, shall we say, significantly more graceful than you. So, no. I'm not worried about falling. And I wouldn't worry about you either. I'll catch you. Probably. Well, if you fall showing off or are clearly not paying attention, I can't guarantee that I'll step in. You must learn your lesson somehow. Yes, about that. When we spoke last week, you were coming with that new friend to introduce them to the others. Where is your date? Or the rest of your friends, for that matter. All of them are on the ice already. It was unkind of them to leave you here alone. Even so, they could have at least taken turns waiting with you for your date. And let's not pretend you didn't hear my first question. Don't give me that. You've been talking about this friend for weeks. What happened? Your date was a fool, and obviously not worth your time if they couldn't see your value from the start. I'll admit that I'm highly perceptive with great taste, but you don't have to be me to understand how valuable you are. Hmm, well, at least the night is turning out quite nice. You're rather lucky you got me instead. 
Imagine what a terribly dull night you would have had without me, especially if that other person had shown up. Now that I think about it, I can't believe you didn't invite me in the first place. I'm quite charming. <laughs> yes, you are. Such is the luck of some people, but I think that's enough sitting about for now. Shall we go show up your friends on the ice? You can introduce me as your friend or your date. I don't particularly care, as long as you don't call me buddy or dude. Ugh, no. Dudette is worse. None of them. Because they are some of the worst words humans have ever invented. Friend or date, those are your options. Well, why not lie? I'm here, aren't I? You have a date. Why should it be different now? Did you tell them who your date was? Then why not just tell them it was me, honestly? Save face tonight with a little white lie, so we can get on our way with having a pleasant time. Oh my dear, are you sure your friends are the ones expecting a romantic date? Or are you trying to get some more personal attention? <laughs> oh, kidding, my dear. Oh. Your face is priceless. I hate to enjoy your misery, but I am glad your day didn't show up. We can make a pleasant night out of this and find you someone better. Clearly I can't entrust the responsibility entirely to you. I know it hurts right now, my dear. And that's okay. Let it hurt. Do not give someone so cowardly enough to ghost you, and isn't even a ghost power to ruin your night. Alright? Good. Now, get your skates on, let's get this romantic date going. Excuse you, my dear. I could be a fantastic fake girlfriend. It's not that hard. Besides, I already have my ice skates. I don't eat or drink, so I'm also a cheap date. Two for one. Incredible company for free. It's hardly close to my worth. Perhaps I should charge you. You ought to be more careful with that smart mouth of yours, my dear. Your new, improved date bites. Come on, my dear. No more sitting and waiting for someone who isn't even thinking about coming. Oh, don't be so down. We don't want to attract ugly. Luckily, you still have me, and I repel everything other than the utmost quality. What can I say? You asked for the best fake date you can get, and I have arrived.